We've been talking about the big Artemis 1 rocket rollout this morning, a historic launch for the return to the moon. And it's a big deal for the Space Coast and a critical test flight for eventual missions to send people back to the lunar surface. The mission is uncrewed, at least in the traditional sense, but there will be a few someones on board. News Insider Guide Crystal Moore has more details on that, Crystal. Yes, the Orion spacecraft will be uncrewed, sort of. There's actually three mannequins on board simulating the future astronauts that will hopefully blast off to the moon and beyond. So let's meet them. The flight commander for the Artemis 1 test flight is Moonikin Campos. I don't know any relation to, uh, to Ms. Campos over there, Candace. <laughs> it was the public that actually chose his first name, Moonikin, in an online contest that NASA held in June. More than 300,000 people placed their votes for the name. What you may not know is that Moonikin's last name, Campus, Campos honors Apollo engineer Arturo Campos. He's credited with creating procedures to help the Apollo 13 astronauts make a safe return during the 1970 attempted mission to the moon. Munikin Campos is equipped with a special suit that has radiation, acceleration, and vibration sensors. That data is going to help NASA better prepare and protect our astronauts for the future Artemis missions. Now, the other travelers, we've got Helga and Zohar. There they are. Other uh, mannequin torsos that are manufactured from special materials that mimic human bones, soft tissues, and organs of an adult female. They are fitted with more than 5,500 passive sensors and and dozens of radiation detectors to measure exposure during the mission. Now, Zohar, the one on the bottom, is wearing a radiation protection vest, and Helga is not. It's all part of a study to show the effectiveness of the vest that astronauts may be able to use during solar storms. Pretty cool. Just a few of the many pieces of technology being tested during this flight to help with future crewed missions. Now, of course, we're hoping for a safe and successful flight test for the crew of mannequins on around the moon. The launch window opens August 29th, and we're giving you a chance to get a front row seat from Kennedy Space Center's Visitors Complex. Starting today, you can enter to win two tickets from, for the Artemis One mission launch. Just head to clickorlando.com slash insider. You'll find the entry form in the story there. You can enter once a day for more chances to win, and the contest ends on Tuesday, ladies. VIP experience, <laughs> I know, yes. right? right? I mean, that's just, that just would be an amazing opportunity. Absolutely. But I mean, those mannequins are just mm -hmm. these uh, large pieces of just uh, experiments and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's just fascinating to see them, you know, broken down like that. Yes, it is. Yeah, Very they cool. picked the names like through a bracket, which was really awesome. So you know, it went down the bracket to the different names, and of course, the last one. Munich and Campus. <laughs> That's great. Rolls right off the tongue. Yes. 